So this recording has to do with um, Bronny James. I think, uh, you know, I just want to sort of ask you, when you sort of last remember a player receiving so much hype before he's even set foot on an NBA court, that's not even a top five prospect. <laughs> that's the reality. Uh, and, you know, currently he's being projected, I think, somewhere between the 15 and 20 uh, you know, for 20th pick for the 2024 draft. Uh, and, um, you know, he's he's not a huge player. I think he's, what, 6'2", 6'3". Uh, you know, there's plenty of guys out there and players out there with a similar build and, um, you know, uh, ability in that sort of sense that can do the things that I've seen him do so far. And, of course, he's young. He's still going to add things to his game and so on and so forth. And, uh, look, you know, it all rides back to at the end of the day, he is LeBron James's son. And, um, you know, LeBron has made it very clear to put him at the forefront uh, of, um, you know, of a lot of everything that you see about LeBron. Um, obviously, leading up to the fact that LeBron goes, I want to play with my son, which would be a great sort of, you know, feel good achievement. Don't get me wrong. And LeBron will get another accolade that makes him greater than MJ because he got to play with his son, right? First professional athlete to play with his son. I don't know, something along those lines, no doubt. First time that's, that's ever happened, right? So, but I guess at the end of the day, I guess coming back to that point, I think it's really challenging, no doubt for Bronny and uh, almost sort of unfair in this situation or what's going on, that there's so much hype around a prospect that's probably not really going to even be, you know, a lottery pick. That's that's quite realistic. I don't know. What do you think? Look, I think the NBA is a business and let's be honest, this is not the first time in the history of business that a father has heavily influenced the potential of their respective child. So this is basically just a byproduct of, hey, my my dad's like a really big deal, so give me the job. And he will. He'll probably get an NBA contract. He may not get multiple, but he is going to get to play in the NBA purely based off his namesake. And I think, how would he feel personally? I don't know. How would you feel if you were... Uh, didn't have to have a conventional job and got to play in the NBA, despite the fact that maybe your skill wasn't on par with what it should be. And um, yeah, what, what, what would you feel? What would you feel if that was your pathway? Well, you know, you get, you get paid, right? I, I, I guess you can, you know, you can't, you can't complain uh, in that sort of sense. Um, and I think the reality that wherever he lands, I think at that point, you have to re realize he would have to earn his minutes. If you see, get, firstly, getting signed with the team's a whole other story, right? There's always those 10 to 15 man players that are on every roster that you probably can't even name half those names, right? Because, you know, you got to fill out your roster in any organization. And Bronny's name probably is going to slide into one of those 10 to 15 players' names, okay? So if you actually see Bronny on the floor playing specific, meaningful minutes, uh, you'd got to have to say, well, he's probably earning his minutes, okay? But at this point, that's highly unlikely and so far what he's projecting to do, all right? And so on and so forth. Um, and I think you, you sort of touched upon it, which actually I didn't really think about, but how many other fathers, because I didn't actually realize, so the Magic took Jet Howard, right, with our 11th pick. And I didn't realize until after the draft that he's Jawan Howard's son. Yeah, you know, and he's an ex-NBA player too. And if you actually look back into all these players in his, uh, sorry, in playing in the NBA, like Steph Curry, obviously, like Clay Thompson, even two real names that jump out. Yeah, their dads also played in the NBA, and you know, and you can say that the, the ages were different and so on and so forth and, and whatnot. You know, um, and that's fine, okay. But none, I, I can't think back of another father, NBA father, that touted their son as much as LeBron has, which is. You know, credit to him, and that's fine. A great marketing plan, probably similar to what LeVar Ball did with the Ball brothers, right? <laughs> Except LeVar Ball averaged one point in college or something like that. <laughs> so that's the thing, all right? So, you know, I think it, it's a great business model. Don't get me wrong. All right, it's great family business. All right, credit to the James family, okay? But at the end of the day here, um, you know, we've we talked about Wembenyama, lifetime ta talent. Yeah, we talked about, you know, LeBron when he came into the league. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to think what other names have come into the league that have sort of had that sort of game-changing impact. And here we are talking about Bronny, well, simply because he's LeBron's son. That's it. It's crazy.
I think it's, but I, look, I, I just think it's, it's natural. Parents want to, you know, keep, keep their, keep their kids safe. And this is more money in the, in the James family. I think it all makes sense. I think hopefully people just taper their expectations of him. This is not the next LeBron James coming through to the league. Unfortunately, we've, we've actually seen in history that the genetics don't indicate the same pathway. Michael Jordan has children. They are not professional athletes. Uh, Del Curry is the father of Steph Curry and Steph Curry, and you could make a case and say both of them are uh, maybe a little bit more talented than he was, or and especially in Steph's case, much Steph more sucks, successful. <laughs> no, Steph doesn't suck. He's just, he just hasn't like Steph needs to have a championship run or get a little bit luckier than what he has currently to to get some things going. So this is two guys with spare time. I'm Faz. This is Nick. You're probably a basketball fan like us, so hopefully you can throw us an assist in giving our video a like and uh, subscribing to our channel. And if you've got thoughts, feelings, or even some suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And thank you for using your spare time to watch us in our spare time.